here is our Lightboard setup. Uh, we are actually in the server room. And you hear the little noise here, but luckily software is able to cancel that out. But it was more or less the most quiet space we could find in the college. So once you get in here, first to do is you fix uh, your cell phone, which one you're going to be filming, uh, onto this little pole. And you make sure that you actually have focus on the entire board so that you don't cut anything off. You can later edit it with the software to cut out this little wooden uh, pillars on both sides. One of the earlier mistakes I made uh, was using a software without uh, being able to fix the focus. So if you use a software that has a fixed focus, uh, you can make sure that it always focuses on the plane of the light board and not somewhere else. So you will be standing behind the light board uh, for talking, you actually need a second cell phone to which you can hook up uh, the microphone and then again use the software to connect the soundtrack from one phone to the video you're doing on the other. Here you're actually seeing my prompt for the next video. Uh, on, pro on top of helping me uh, with knowing what I'm going to talk about, it also helps me to remind, to remind me to look into the camera. To turn on the light board, you simply push this button here and then the light of the board itself as well as the background lighting will come on. You can actually adjust the settings on the corner here but usually full power provided the best results. Don't forget to turn off the main light when you start filming. Another thing when you look here you actually see that our board already has some scratches which look very horrible uh, if you stand behind the board but it turns out when you're filming it from the other side at the end it's not really visible that you have all the scratches on the board. This video is going to be an introduction to linear momentum. First of all, what is momentum? Momentum, which we usually use the letter P, is defined as the linear inertia times the velocity. The linear inertia turns out to be just the mass of an object. I have downloaded my video file as well as my audio file, and I'm going to put them together uh, using iMovie in my case. So I'm going to start by creating a new project. I'm going to do a movie. Then I'm just going to drag my video on here and my audio right next to it. Now the first thing I have to do is I have to try to synchronize the audio of the video with the audio from the file and hopefully I made some clapping movement that will tell me where I started recording. So apparently here on the video track is where I started. So let's get rid of the first part that we don't need. So here is where my soundtrack starts. The clip and I'm just going to move it and try to really, really, really arrange it. Zoom in a bit. This video is going to be an introduction to linear momentum. And First it all, looks like I nailed it. Momentum. The sound right now sounds like it's completely synchronous. So I can cut my videos to the beginning. Split clip. Split clip, those two are attached. I can detach the original audio from the video 
which I don't need anymore. And I get rid of the one from the video itself. And let's test how it looks. This video is going to be an introduction to linear momentum. Sounds good. Next thing I do on the audio, I'm going to reduce the background noise and do a voice enhance. This video is going to be an introduction to linear momentum. Then you've probably realized that the writing on the screen is backwards. I'm going to fix that. Uh, to do this, you click on the video and then you go into the special options. And then you have here the option of flipped. So you simply click flipped and you see the writing now is in the correct direction. No First problem. All, but momentum. And we can read this. Okay, so now the next thing, uh, I shot this video by taking video that's a bit uh, too big. So I will have to crop the video out. So I'm going to be cropping uh, my video. And I hope it's going to be working out with my frame. So if I was to do this, I would lose my bottom of the screen. I'm not sure how far down I was actually writing in this video. Just gonna have a look. Seems to be okay. Seems to be okay. Yeah, I seem to have just used right amount of size of my screen. So let's make it a little bit smaller and then go. So now I don't see the frame anymore. Now I'm just going to hit here the auto improve, fix color, stabilization and some other issues. And now probably my video is already good. This video is going to be an introduction to linear momentum. First of all, what is momentum? Momentum, which we usually use the letter P, is defined as the linear inertia times the velocity. The linear inertia turns out to be just the mass of an object. I'm thinking of the momentum as a measure of the magnitude of motion in a certain direction or the tendency of an object or a system of objects to continue traveling in a certain direction. Linear momentum follows a law of conservation. 